All right, this is Angry Drunken Theist here with a reply on free will to my friend Honest Discussioner. So you begin here by asking why. When faced with a choice of whether we could choose coffee or tea, why do we freely choose one over the other? In other words, what reason backs our free choice of, say, coffee over tea? Now, do you notice here the subtle slip you make? This is a similar thing to the very unfortunate named but commonly known notion of the are you beating your wife question, where even answering this question shows that you would buy into the premise of the question in the first place. Now, in this sense, simply presenting this question itself begs the question in favor of determinism. My position is that the reason does not lie with the act of agency, since the reason instead lies behind whatever choice we make as agents. This reasoning, remember, is sufficient to bring about the choice we make. And the reason for the choice or choices that we don't make are still, under this assumption, sufficient to be brought about on their own as well. What makes one of those chains actually efficient is the very definition of what it means to be an agent, to be a free-willed agent doesn't mean the choice lacks any reason. The reason backs the choice. Nor does it mean we choose randomly. The agent acts and does not just toss dice. But agency is not ultimately due to a precedent determinative reason. Nor is it due to some network of multiple reasons or multiple goals, as you propose. How does, by the way, having multiple goals instead of one goal force determinism? Is it necessarily deterministic if we in fact have one goal? I don't see any argument for the conclusion that multiple goals entails determinism here. It seems to leave even more room for freedom of the agent in this framework. So, you mentioned a study here about predicting choices based on analysis of brain states before conscious awareness of selection. I didn't catch the name of the study. What is this study called? I, I, I would kind of have serious doubts that this study would predict choice 100% of the time, although I'd really have no trouble if they predicted it above a mere 50-50 chance. Hell, my wife can do way better than that doesn't mean I'm not free. It just means I sometimes give him to have bad habits. So I'll look forward to your reply.